Hey guys, if you've also updated your phone to iOS 26 and your battery consumption has increased significantly, you should know that this glass animation is significantly increasing your battery consumption. Now there is a solution to turn off this glass animation. In this video, we'd like to show you top 10 tips and tricks, as well as shortcuts, that will help you get even more like want to talk about the of iOS 26 tips responses. And if you're interested in videos like this one with tips and tricks for the iPhone and other Apple products, my channel is exactly the right one for you. So feel free to subscribe now. Let's start the video. Go to settings, go down and select accessibility. Here, select display text size and turn reduce transparency option on. That glassy state disappears just now like iOS 18. In the iOS 26, a feature has been added that battery is not low yet. You can go into the phone settings. You can search for battery, but here we have the battery in hand. Let's go to battery. Here we will click on the power mode option. We need to turn on the first two options, adaptive power and adaptive power notifications. Now, what do we do with these? The first option is that when your battery consumption exceeds the usual and conventional limits, the iPhone intelligently adjusts the battery performance so that the battery does not run low. The second option is what this does. The changes you made in the first option will come to your phone in the form of notifications. It will show you what it did. In general, turning on these two options will cause the battery to run down more slowly. The only thing is that when you turn them on, the battery will run down later, but it may run slower in some apps. After you update your phone, to the iOS 26, first thing you need to do is update your apps. To make sure all your apps are updated easily, hold the device with your hand. Your phone should be connected to Wi-Fi. VPN can be turned off. There is no problem. Click on the Updates option. In the bottom left corner, click on Update All. One by one, your apps will be updated. Let me tell you, now when you take a screenshot, you can use this option and the additional option to place this magnifying glass on important points in your screenshot. iPhone camera, as you can see, has completely changed. You can switch between different modes by swiping your finger down there. If you swipe up from here or tap on the photo name, the settings will open. And for the video section, you have access to the quality settings in the top left. But the important settings are go into the camera settings from settings and turn on the lens cleaning hints which will warn you when the lens is dirty. Turn on these three RAM options from the same section like me so that you have quick access to action mode and flash from within the camera. But a cool part has been added to control the game. In the same general section, you will see the game controller, which you can make a series of settings to when the gamepad is connected. For example, the strength of the controller's vibration, button settings, and the ability to take a screenshot in. Game by double-clicking the share button or start recording your gameplay when you hold it in your hand. When you take a screenshot, you have to click on it to apply the change so that it becomes full screen. But if you go to settings and select the general screen capture subcategory, there are a few important settings. Once you turn it on, the small screenshot will no longer appear. Second, when you turn it on, when you take a screenshot of something like a plant, it will give you information about it. Set the last one to HDR so that the screenshot quality is high. That's it. And of course, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. If so, please leave a thumbs up. If you know any other tips and tricks, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more similar videos. And then we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care.